another day beautiful day just gonna bring you around the front here show you the haystack now we'll have to go up there and spread some straw around boards on the case blowing air in cooling the hay down only runs on tick over but that moves a lot of air hay is beautiful quality of hay this year has been really really nice this barn is pretty much full uh, that's all new hay in there some uh, mixture of bales in there there's timothy with some big ones round ones we're at our last block of land we're just going to go and ted that today it won't be ready today we're hoping it's going to be ready in time for the weekend it's going to get high temperatures this weekend some of the hay came in from last night they're the big bales we brought them in last night i don't know where everyone is they all disappeared but uh, yeah we're on our last i think it's 150 acres something like that i think most of it will go big bales you, you put the flat tires in the workshop feet and in the morning they're fixed it's like those <laughs> If I turn this on, that means you can't bully me now. Can it? So, it's all recorded. <laughs> yep. Look at that, you see that? Right, what do I want? That thing will eat. Yes, don't leave that up. That only gets left up if you got you know when you're putting something on and then two of you put something on yeah, and then you don't together. know which one each other's done because you have a routine didn't you? Yeah. Chuck chuck, that's turning too short rubbing on Yeah. I do try not to turn from that ridge and furrow you can out but no. I, yeah that ridge and furrow is evil isn't it? It's just... You got a new tyre on there look? Yeah, all well, these blowing up today. Don't forget to take a screwdriver with you. No, I know. A screwdriver and a 19. We'll check these before we go. We're going away from farm, so everything wants to be blown up, ready to go. Yeah. And the wheel stayed on, that's a good sign. We're now over at the next block of land. This is, um, we'll get out and have a look in a minute. I'll show you the grass. It's a different type of grass. It's a little bit of a mix between Timothy and Meadow. Um, it's a lot coarser for sure. But uh, we're on the farmer's spray tractor this time. So uh, we've got the uh, luxury of GPS on this one. Uh, this is um, a bolt on kit. So you can see the steering wheel there doing its thing. You set you up for your, um, how wide your implement is. Uh, this is a 13 meter tether. If you set it at 12.8, it literally, well, it, it just catches it perfect. And you, le you learn this as you go along. Um, you can get out and measure it, or you can just keep fiddling until you get it right, until it all matches up. Yeah, this is the farmer spray one. So we've got all sorts of gubbins in here. You can just turn the wheel to disengage auto steer. Turn around slowly. Hit the button. Full touch screen. This is a Topcon system. We've got another system that probably I should have probably shown you already. Um, yeah, we're going to see how the two compare. Uh, Farmer uses this one for spraying and. Uh, he says it does a nice job, you know, the, the screen's pretty good. Yeah, we'll see how it compares to uh, the new system that we've got coming. It's going to go on Peter's tractor because Peter's the only one uh, that's, well, he's drilling, not long rows on this field, but uh, you can knock the steering off here, on this button here, that knocks it off. Just steady on the headland. Now we go. We're getting towards the end. There's going to be some drips and drabs here and there. Steering does it all up. It's a job to see, actually. This Timothy is quite, um, quite difficult to see. I'm actually quite pleased I've got the GPS. Meadow hay fluffs up, you see, and this just lays back down. Like uh, you can see, a, you 
can see where you've been because it's a it's slightly darker colour where it's still not fit. It's not going to be fit today. It's not going to be fit tomorrow, I don't think. We're going to get out and have a look at it. All this governs here is to do with the sprayer. Farmer can unhook the sprayer and we've got another tractor about. Handy during the busy times, um, especially like last year when everything came in at once. Uh, last year we were harvesting and hay making at the same time. This year is going to be nice. It's going to be, we can concentrate on harvest without having to worry about haymaking. There might still be little bits that we cut here and there, but um, for the most part, we will be done. There'll be straw making. Uh, I've got my mate Josh from Chandler's. He wants to send us um, a new conventional baler and the Massey 5S to try out. Uh, it's just gonna happen that it's not gonna be in time for hay because we're gonna be pretty much done up with the hay. But uh, in, in a couple of weeks time, we'll be on the wheat, baling some wheat. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll get to try it out on that. Uh, so that's going to be coming up. Charlie's in the other field across the way there. We're going to get these Ted out. We're going to have an earlier night tonight because we've got no. Um, Colin's doing a little bit of round baling today. Keith is out loading some round bales that they got that stood out, so they're going to go and pick those up. We'll just show you the grass that we've got here. It is. Let's get into a into the thick and the main of it. But you can see, as the old Timothy look, it's, um, this field in particular is quite stalky actually, very much Timothy. There's, um, there's all sorts in it, there's clover in it, there's, there's meadow grass in it, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a mix of everything. Uh, mainly stalky though, uh, what we're checking for is still very green yet, um, but I'll tell you what, it's changing fast. They only spread this out yesterday. Keithy mowed it the day before. You've got to check the knuckles, Keithy always tells me. You see, that's, um, there's still some dry in there to be done. Even though it feels quite dry, there's still a little bit of... Um, it's still got some welting to do. Welting? Welting to do? <laughs> it's not ready, basically. It's still a bit too green, but that won't matter. We've got some nice sunshine coming at the weekend. It'll probably be pushing it for tomorrow, but uh, I imagine we'll be out here Saturday starting to bale this one. Um, yeah, this is the first one. Charlie's across the way. She's got three to go out that side. I'm going to go this side. And there's a big one at the back there. And um, yeah, I think big balers come into this. We're going to have the small balers out here doing a bit as well. We'll get it cleared up pretty quick. But there's um, not a bad crop there. Still better than what we've seen back at home. We're nearly done here. We, we, me and Charlie have been smashing it. But uh, one thing you've got to watch when you're on auto steer, and uh, it's happened a million times, I've seen horrible, horrible, you see horrible stuff, you know, on the internet and stuff where, uh, and it's tempting, you know, it's tempting to get your phone out and have a little thing. Oh, I've got a nice long stretch up here. You take your eyes off for two minutes. You have got to concentrate. And you think you wouldn't get close to it. And you think you wouldn't get to the end without knowing. But it comes up quick. And uh, if you aren't paying attention, that is the only thing with auto steer that can be an issue um, and if you bring one of those power lines down on your tractor and you're unlucky and the power lines are stroke the tractor you're in bad well we don't even want to go there because uh, it doesn't end well uh, you're very lucky to get out of that alive Keithy's out here we're just picking some round ones that we made in, earlier on in the week and uh, by the end of today we'll have everything picked up out of the dry uh, out of the wet sorry I would say there'll be nothing outstanding, which is quite a rare event. Usually this this time of the year, you can have uh, a lot of bales out stood. These are all got to come back. These are all ours. They're on the other side of the road. We're just going to switch fields here. Switched on to my tractor now. That sprayer tractor with that tank on, that's a right handful, that is, especially with that tether on. I like my tractor. And we're actually hoping we might, we may have an early night tonight. I say early, I mean normal. <laughs> but uh, we've had two weeks of uh, good going, so we've, uh, we've made the best of it. That's what it's all about.
Mister! Hey, you ain't gonna let him blow away, are you? Hey? You ain't gonna let him blow away. No, they ain't coming off down the road. You, what, what do you reckon? One strap will do him? It's all good, I <laughs> Oh, I love it. Uh, these ones are all good ones, he said. Yeah. And the rest, all, the rest will be them others. That's all I want to know. Yeah. So You're gonna stand them over there somewhere? Yeah. So he, the Keithy said he picked all the ones, the best ones, and uh, these are the, yeah, you, he said you'll know what to do with them. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, he got them all in there. Look, they're good, aren't they? They're nice. Oh, is he? So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Problem with the rake? Oh boy. Oh yeah, we're good. It'll be on the next video. It's gonna get start getting hot, so we're gonna prepare the tractor and make sure the tractor's nice and clean, blown off. Mm. Right, something you've got to try and remember as well with the because uh, we're on air tanks you watch under there they build up with water top one never really does it i think it's the bottom one mainly but we're checking both they'll build up with water and then you'll uh, you'll get rust in your tank and remember to do you up We done snap the shaft. Oh, yeah, a bit of a oh, yeah. I'm bent, oh. Bunch of really good, <laughs> Not me, I didn't touch it. Enjoy. <laughs> we do this with all the machines. He's just gonna blow everything off, blow the tractor off, blow the cooling rads out. And it's surprising. Um, how blocked that gets on the back end of the tractor. So you've got to 
to do it. It's gonna get hot over the next few days. It's gotta be kept clean. Someone asked me before about the sheets. The sheets are just a, oh, I'll let the farmer tell you. When you put your hay in that, and you go against tin, yeah. you'll always get a bit of condensation against the tin, yeah. and it will always stay in that face of the hay. Not yeah. so much on these, but on that with the square packs look. Yeah. But you can see how the packs go against the sheet. Yeah. So the, 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 the packs will settle and go against the sheet. Yeah. And you, you can try all sorts, you know, over the years, everybody's tried various things. Uh, they tried boarding the backs of a shed. And it's not so nice for on meadow hay, but when we used to do seed hay, yeah. it got to be absolutely spot on. Right. So you didn't want, and if you put boards up the back, even where you had the gaps in the boards, yeah. it would get air through and it would stain the hay. Yeah. And what we found was, we tried various things, but the one thing that, we even stuffed hay down the back. So we would put a pack in, yeah. stuff hay, wads of hay down the back, and yeah. that would keep it really good. Yeah. Of course, it was a hell of a lot of work, yeah. and you ended up with um, a hell of a mess. Yeah. It wasn't so bad for us, because we could grab it and put it in the couch. Yeah. Yeah. But what we found then, we, we thought, well, let's try a sheet. So we, on one bay, we hung a sheet down on one bay, and of course it worked. So that's what we've done since. Yeah. And what you, every bay will come out good, man. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know what it does. It, and it manages, because the air is behind the sheet, yeah. it, it seems to keep it right. It, yeah. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't sweat. No. Just, um, you know, it's, it's just works. Like, just works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> but, and you don't need a particularly good sheet. Um, a little hole in it, you can see that little sheet there, yeah. yeah, it's got a little hole in it, it's not got to be a really absolutely bang on sheet, you're never going to know it's got like a two inch slash in it or something like that. No. Um, so you can use floor sheets, you know, as long as you've yeah. got to keep your floor sheets or something like that, or yeah. a few sheets off the front or a few sheets that we've used somewhere else, you can recycle a sheet for the back yeah, on the yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pete's done twice, right? But he, well, Pete would have finished it yesterday, but we had that issue with the rake, so we had to go and saw that. What was wrong with that in the end? The, the ram came unscrewed. So the, oh, uh, bloody hell, we've the, seen that before, the, the haven't we? The seals on the end came unscrewed. And Uncle Frank had been saying to me for a day or two the, the rake keeps creeping out. And what Pete said, there was a where the seal screwed on, there was an O-ring round it. Yeah. So what's happened, it's come up, it's, it's started to unwind itself, the O-ring's come away, which then lets the oil push through the threads. Right. So it will then just keep creeping out. Oh, bloody hell. Anyway, we, we, we went down and got it off last night. Um, he'd only got two acres to finish. So we just strapped the, we had a ratchet strap and strapped the arms in. Yeah. Whipped the ram off quick, brought it home, Pete repaired it. Um, Oh, put it yeah. back on and uh, you think they won't come unscrewed, but they do. We see it on the Tudor a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, they, they will come unscrewed. Yeah, yeah, we have had them in the past. You know, it, 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 Pete's lock tied it now, so he's yeah. put a bit of lock tie on it. Yeah. But you know, the other way, mate, is just put a spot of weld on the end. Yeah. So you screw it on, put a spot of weld on, and if you ever want off, you just grind the weld off and off it will come. There's no, uh, and it, 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 you know, there ain't a right or wrong way on either of them to do it. No. All right. Any chance Pete gets, he gets that heat thing out, that gun, uh, uh, <laughs> torch out. No, go away. Right, wash the windows, blow our rads out, blow the aircon rad out. Made a bit of a fatal error there. Should have blown her off first. Now the dust is gonna get stuck to everything. What are you doing? Sunbathing. You just like, all you want to do is wear that suit all the time. Yeah, forensic what? scientist. You jump, you jump to the compressor every time. 
Yeah. Your, uh, your blades all right? How often you change your blades? I can change them, yeah. A bit, we're getting a bit worn, aren't they? They're not too bad. What's worn in your eyes? Notches and stuff? Yeah, they just round off, don't they? You see they've got a bit of a, still having a flat edge and it's curving off a bit. Do you, Do you get two, two goes out of them? Yeah, you turn. So you turn them over and get another go? They don't seem too bad. No, they're all right. They'll do a bit longer. Yeah. It's covered in that greasy sap, isn't it? And everything's covered in that greasy, oily sap. Yeah. Coating on it. It's like a crust. <laughs> At the end of the season though, you go through it, don't you? You go through it, clean it all off. Yeah. It'll have to have a service on the bed, won't it? Yeah, and the gearbox is I think that's supposed to be done as well. Easy to grease? Uh, not too bad, it's quite a few grease gets on all this uh, mechanism. Yeah. It's not like the trail, but it's more than a trail or not. Is it? Yeah. Shafts are alright, you've got to line the reasoning up in the guards to how do you, Yeah, how do you do that? How do you turn just it? Turn the bed. Oh, you can turn the bed, can you? Yeah, this one's this side, and that one's under there. And they don't line up. The no. holes line up there, and you come here, and these holes don't line up with the grease tip there, so you have to turn the bed. I, I was saying, Ag, on that um, tether, we, you can undo these and just slide them round to a yeah, more they're tick. to get back on again. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh. They are. If they're split, you get them off, and you'll have a hell of a job to get that ring back on it. Uh, they split and one goes on, one down, it's a nightmare. Right. Have you pulled one off yet? Um, no, I moved one on the rake to, because it was under, yeah, one was, uh, one was on the arm. Yeah. yeah. One was right, you one know. One was off the other morning when I greased it, come off. Oh, had it? Yeah. Oh. Probably the one you knew. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, it might have been actually. I don't know without looking, but I can tip that. Oh, you know, it's only half a can full. Is it? Yeah. All right. You should have come yesterday when it was full. Oh. <laughs> Not here when I when you want me, am I? That's it. All right. <laughs>